You gotta get one of these. I'm blown away today. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today I got something special to show you today. I wanna show you this thing. You've seen our wine gadgets. Now I'm gonna put this thing to the test in weather condition. Stay tuned. Don't miss this video. Hit that like and subscribe button and let's just get right into it. I'm so happy it hurt when they walked out the door. Happy they left my heart broke on the floor. Happy I don't have to fight anymore. Had to leave it behind me. So real love to find me. You open my heart. Now, first of all, if you live in Antarctica or parts of Alaska, you don't need one of these. This will stay cool all year long. Just skip to the next video. But if you live somewhere where there's hot summers, India, Africa, I got subscribers all over the world now. Thank you very much for watching this channel, but you will want one of these. This is a wine chiller. We're no affiliation with this particular brand. I got a couple listed in the description, but this is the Husky version. It claims that it will keep wine chilled for up to six hours. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna test it today. I'm gonna test it with direct sunlight hitting it, and then we're gonna test it like we were on the beach, in the sand, under an umbrella. We're gonna test it in the shade because I wanna see if direct sunlight and if in the shade, if there's any difference or if they're both similar, I would think they would be different. Let me just show you the wine gadget part of the video where we showed you how to use this thing. So my wife is gonna give you a demo and explain what this even is. So this is the Husky wine cooler and it is an insulated um, carrying case, I guess, for a chilled bottle of wine. It will keep it cold for up to six hours. Um, it's really a great product. There are some less expensive ones, and I know Todd's going to put the link in the description here for a couple of different ones, but this one happens to be our favorite. But they come in all kinds of different colors, mm -hmm. too. We got the rose color, which I love. Yeah. And another thing about this is you don't need any ice. No ice needed. You don't have to freeze this thing. You put your, bo your cold bottle of wine in there, and it lasts for hours. Look at that. Now, these are insulated, probably just with foam or air, but the reason I like this Husky one is because of the different colors they offer. Look at this, it's like a copper color. I love this thing. And this will hold just about any size wine bottle. Mm -hmm. It also holds different size champagne bottles. You like cold champagne? But look at the detail on this. I don't know if you can see this, but it's got like a little rubber edge here that just keeps it in there as well. You're not going to see anything in this channel. I haven't tested or used, and we're not affiliated with anybody. So we're getting a raw review on this. So I got these wine bottles chilled. I'm just going to bring them back up to temperature. Now we got our equipment. We got our camera to show you the, the time lapse of this. We got our little temperature gauge that we're going to drop in which one of these bottles. We got the one we're going to put in the sun and then the shade. And we're going to put it in here and set everything up. And let's just get rolling on this thing and show you what I mean. The true investment of this will be in how it tests out. Now, remember, when you serve red wines, you want slightly cooler than room temperature, usually between 62 to 68 or 15 to 20 Celsius. But then when you're dealing with your white lines, you want them slightly warmer than the refrigerator temperature. Usually ideal 49 to 55 degrees or seven to 12 degrees Celsius. Now, the way we're gonna test this, we're gonna run this up to about 65 degrees because that's when I wanna taste my white wines, not usually a lot warmer than now, that. It says it's 84 degrees in the sun right now. So let's get tested. So I got our probe here. We're just going to open this up and put the probe all the way down in the bottom. I want this done from the bottom of the bottle for each one of these. So there we go. Now we're at the bottom. Put this back on and we're ready to start the test. 
All right, we're all set up. You can see the starting temperature is at 43.2. It's in the sun. It's getting direct sunlight. And the test has just begun. Okay, so now it's the beach day. We got the umbrella set up in the shade. Let's get this other wine bottle in here and get this tested and see how much longer it's going to last when it's not directly in the sun. It's in the shade. So let's put this in here and get our temperature gauge. Drop it all the way down to the bottom. We're going to do the same thing we did to this one with the other one. There, we're at the bottom. Put that in. And we're set to start. Let's just get to the results. All right, let's start the animation. We got the time in the middle and the temperature on the right. We got the sun temperature at the top, and then we got the shaded below. But you'll see here, when we come up to this two hour mark, we've only jumped a temperature of about three degrees on this thing. That's crazy. Two hours and three degrees. This thing's working great. So now we're getting up to that three hour mark and you can see we've got about a four, five degree temperature difference, but we're gonna hit this four hour mark and there's about an eight degree difference from the sun to the sage. So you can see that sun hitting this does increase the temperature, but it's not that much. This thing keeps going till we get to a 63.7, which there's 64.8, which is our 65 degree we were trying to get to. You can see the sun took five hours and 15 minutes. That's unbelievable. We continue on in the shade. We're up to eight hours and we're still only at the 57.4 degrees. We're not at our target of 65 yet. I could have went another couple hours on this. So you just saw those results. Do you believe that? Five hours, over five hours in direct sunlight using this thing. I was blown away because that sun was hitting this all day in the afternoon heat. And then when I put it in the shade, how about that? I had to stop the recorders because I only got it to 57 degrees. I didn't even hit my 65 degree mark in over eight hours. I could have probably got nine, 10 hours in the shade on this. Again, exceeded my expectations. I will not give this thing up because it is that good. I highly recommend it. Links in the description. Try it out. If you like to, to sip your wine and it takes you a while to go through a bottle, get one of these. You're not gonna be disappointed. Eight plus hours, are you kidding me? It's time to enjoy some blue wine and don't even ask what kind this one is and that's a wrap i'm so happy it hurt when they walked out the door